I've made plenty of spy devices in my day, and now it's time for another. I found one of these spy gear toys at a garage sale and decided to pick it up. This one uses a plastic dart that has a sticky piece on one end, and it's also removable. And on the other end of the dart is a microphone. The other part is the receiver, and it's got what looks like a slingshot on one end. The idea is to shoot the dart and have it stick on a wall. One problem with this is this obvious dart doesn't make a good spy device. Plus, it doesn't stick. So, I tried the suction cup end, and it doesn't stick either. So I thought the first thing I could do to make this better is to add this personal sound amplifier. That'll give a strong boost to our signal. So I began by taking apart the receiver. I removed the screw that held the battery cover in, and all the other screws, and then a couple of small clips held it in place, and I pried it open. It's pretty basic inside with the receiving circuit board and a little speaker. More screws to remove now on the circuit board as we remove that and cut the wires going to the battery pack and also cut those speaker wires because we're not going to use a speaker for this. Now we've got our first component, the receiver. And what's cool about this is it actually has a headphone jack, which is what we need in order to spy. Now on to our little microphone dart. So we're going to remove a screw for that and we'll carefully pry the housing apart. Inside is the microphone circuit, the transmitter, and also a little rechargeable battery. We'll pop that out of the housing and then clip the two wires going to the rechargeable battery because we're not going to be using that. You can see this is 3.7 volts, so 3 volts will work just fine to power this. Now it's time to get to the personal amplifier, which looks like a little Bluetooth headset. So we'll remove the battery cover for that and pry it apart. The input circuit of this uses a small microphone, and that's how it picks up the sound. Now it's time to combine these two components to really boost our spy ability. We'll start by unsoldering the microphone from the original spy gear dart. Then we'll solder that microphone on the input circuit of our personal amplifier. This one is a bigger, better, and clearer mic. That's done. Now it's time to add this component to the original dart transmitter. So we've soldered two wires to the output portion of our personal amplifier, and those will get soldered to the input of the dart. Basically, we're boosting the circuit and ability for this to pick up sound. These two components will fit real well together, but now we need some power. So for that, I'm going to use a single 3 volt battery and holder. After hooking up power, you can see as we fire up the personal amplifier, it's ready to go. I stuck some electrical tape on the one board because when I put these together, I don't want to have a short circuit. I zip tied them together and our transmitter is ready to spy. We also need power for the receiver and I'll be using a twin AA battery holder for that. We wired that in and it's up and running. We're almost done. After cutting the original speaker wires, I applied some hot glue to the back of the board and attached the battery holder to that. Now we have one slick component. Now, I thought about what I could put the transmitter in that wouldn't be messed with. No one would ever touch a disgusting roach trap, so that's what I'm going to use. I was always curious to see what was inside of these anyway, so I peeled off the label and using an X-Acto knife, I cut away at the plastic. Inside is this brown goop that apparently attracts roaches and then later kills them, so I'll toss that. Now we have the perfect housing for our transmitter as it fits right inside. Then it's time to find a spot where you can spy on your roommate. Remember, no one's ever going to touch this roach hotel. Plus, if you're good, no one will ever see it after you hide it. After plugging some earphones in, I'm good to go. And if you wanted to, you could get fancy and put this in a housing like an Altoids tin or a plastic enclosure. To test it out, I plugged the output into my camera and sat in the living room and spoke quietly on my phone. works like a charm. So that's how to spy on your roommate. Please use this responsibly and only you will know all the secrets. And speaking of secrets, it's no secret who gives you the best shave in the world. Harry's, which I shaved with just this morning. Their German engineered five blade cartridges give a close comfortable shave with no cuts or burns. Quality is guaranteed and they'll give you a full refund if you're not happy. They offer factory direct prices to cut out the middleman, and they ship them right to your door. Why pay 32 bucks for an 8-pack of blades when you can get them for half the price at harrys.com? The Harry's Starter Set is an amazing deal. For just $15, you get a razor, moisturizing shave cream, and three blades. 
And they've worked out a special deal for you guys. Harry's will give you $5 off your first order with promo code KIPK5. So stop overpaying for a great shave and start the new year off right. Go to harrys.com right now. That's H-A-R-R-Y-S dot com and enter the code KIPK5 at checkout. Click on the link below to start a new shaving experience. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.